Hi, I wanted to review my favorite timer that I use with my students during their music lab time. It is called the Time Tracker Mini and it is made from learning resources. And the reason why this is my favorite timer is a couple different reasons. One, it has two different settings so I can have um, students doing one task and then a timer goes off for that task and then have them go into another task and a timer goes off for that task. And then the other, my favorite, favorite part of it is it doesn't make any noise. Well, it could make noise if you wanted it to make noise, but I don't have it make noise. So instead, it has these lights. So the red means, of course, they're done. And then there's a green. That's how you set the timer is when it goes on green. So the timer has begun. So when the first timer goes off, it will blink this yellow light. And so that will tell them that their first task is over and then they can go ahead and start the second task. And so then when they have the second task, um, when the second timer goes off, then it will blink this red light and then that will tell them they're done. For example, I'll give you a good example. This week during my music lab, I had my students do two different tasks. They're using my Music Lab task cards. So the tasks that they're doing um, is with the Rhythm task cards. And the first task is a video. So they scan the QR code and they watch this video first about African folk music drumming. Now, this is a 10 minute video and I didn't want them to spend 10 minutes watching the video. They can get the gist of it within five minutes and get a nice opinion of it and everything. And so I wanted to set the timer to go off after five minutes so they knew that they no longer have to watch the rest of the video. They can um, go into their reflection card and write down what they thought of it and anything else that I might have them do and on their task card. And by the way, if you're not familiar with my task cards, I will link to it um, so you can find out more about them. And they, you don't have to print them out either. You can do these digitally. And I do have um, a video I did in our Facebook group about how you can do that. So just a tip and a heads up on that. Anyway, so after they watch the video, the five minutes, then they go to the next task card, which is I wanted them to do the Rhythmic Village app on the iPad. And so they have the instructions here on the task cards of what they, I want them to focus on in that app and what they need to watch for and the questions they need to answer and the goal that they have for that app when they're playing. And so the second timer would go off about five minutes before their lab time is finished so they have time to fill out their card for um, what they just did on the app. So that's the, their app card for Rhythmic Village. And then, um, then they put just put it back to where it needs to go and, and their lap time's over. So it just helps them keep them on task and I love that it, I can set two timers and it doesn't make any noise. Of course you can have it make noise, it, it does have a volume button so I just have my volume all the way down. Um, it just does this like eh, eh, eh noise, um, but you don't have to have it. I think the only negatives that I could think about this timer is it's in just five minute increments. And so um, I wish it I, I wish it had like the minute because sometimes I might say, OK, 22 minutes or, you know, whatever. Um, but other than that, I love it. It just helps keep them on task, which is, of course, my goal is um, wanting to keep them on task with their what they're doing in lab time and you could use this during lessons if if you um, have certain students that need um, you know to stay more on task during lesson time you can have a two timers go off okay um, we'll set it for 10 minutes and then you know we'll switch gears in 10 minutes and then I'll give you a five minute before lessons is over, we'll do something fun if, you, if you're if you on task or something like that. So there's a lot of possibilities you can do with the timer and it's my favorite, just wanted to share. All right, we'll see you later, bye.